solid waste management is a process it starts from 1 and it ends at 5 there are five processes are there a systematic process of collecting transporting treating and disposing all the process has to be done in a systematic way It can come from residential commercial industrial sources etc from 2019 the government has imposed the norms that you should collect in separate bins have you seen different kinds of bins every bins are represented by a particular purpose waste bins might be in green color but there are other different colors of bins which is followed in well developed countries now we are separating only in two bins what are they is organic waste and plastic waste these two we are collecting but in further developed countries you have this much of types so you you will be having purely paper waste in the light yellow color glass glass items will be in blue now types of waste are the waste can be generated from households and it might be from the commercial places which are majorly food scraps paper and plastics if you want to put plastic you should put in a red color bin organic waste should be in a green color bin these are the two things in industrial waste industrial waste is during any manufacturing it might be from pen to an aeroplane from these kind of manufacturing plant you get some waste which are hazardous and chemical majorly it will not be any food organic waste industrial waste purely will be hazardous and toxic and agricultural waste are organic waste it could be degradable there will be no bins separate bins will be available they dump in a land have you seen after harvesting agricultural product what they do is they dump it in a place and they sell it they resell it or they will be using it for manure purpose composting they will do fertilizer creation is called a composting this happens naturally who does this process it is a natural process bacteria does it so no need of any external agent to do that if you keep that organic waste it automatically from 5 to 7 months it will become into a manure next thing is biomedical waste there are paramedical industry and hospitals those who create the medicines and those who treat by using that medicine these are the largest industry if you want to buy some shares there are top 100 companies are there if you check paramedical industry have 30% of shares don't think that medical and hospitals are very less doctors are very less when compared to engineers see out of 1000 engineers only 100 doctors will be there due to that don't think that industry is very small if you want to buy shares 30% of impact is from paramedical industry either generating the medicine or giving us the treatment the biomedical waste what they will be doing is you cannot see any biomedical waste outside the hospitals all the hospitals should have an incineration chamber you have to keep it in a container no hospital waste has to be discharged out the hospital waste are called biomedical they have to be treated separately no syringes chemicals syrups medicine has to be letted out they have to keep it in a bin they have to incinerate it they only burn and the ash will come that ash they have to be transported so there is a norms for that during a license they will check all this thing see all the waste which are consisting of syringes expired drugs etc it should be there and these are other three now in this generations e waste are growing which are electronic waste co components from computers and phones construction is another parameter they have done enough of experiment if any building is been constructed and demolished not only building roads roads are constantly laying no after 5 years or after 3 years roads will be constantly laid all the demolished waste can be reused as concrete have you heard about recycled concrete the first time they will blast the mountain they take the river sand they will construct after constructing they are demolishing no that waste can be remade it as concrete and they will supply that is called demolition waste no need to again demolish the hill in order to make concrete 
so this is been sustainably made hazardous waste are which are from toxic materials example is paint industry etc now let me discuss regarding the source where we get the different types of solid waste one of the source is residential from our house what type of waste we generate kitchen waste plastic paper and clothes these are the waste come from each and every household next thing is commercial if you go to market places from kr market what are the waste they are generating paper plastic and food waste that's all is all the waste are very safe can you see between first two is the waste safe or it is very hazardous it is very safest what you can do is either you can decompose it or you can fill it in landfill for any waste generation recycle reuse purpose now commercial consists of restaurant hotels and offices next thing is industrial waste institutional waste the government is an institution hospitals and schools from here you get paper plastic and glass can you see even though the origin is different the waste is same in house do you have paper plastic in commercial waste also you have paper plastic in institution also you have paper plastic what might be the major waste in your college major might be papers now when you come to industry here there might be different types of waste what are they is apart from paper and plastic there might be chemicals there might be textile oriented fluids might be there toxic materials might be there this are different from the rest of the waste agricultural waste i have told you now this is a statistics which i have taken from the world bank the world bank gives different statistics i have told different sources of waste if you combine what is the major waste in solid is you see the blue color what is that organic matter which is 41.3 percentage is organic matter uh, paper and organic matter is paper and organic matter yes then um, clothes any clothes from the house is it organic matter yes so, see like this from different sources they have collected world bank collected what are the types of waste we are getting organic matter is the 41 percentage of organic matter is there then inerts paper waste others etc like this you have the pie chart here according to the country which which of the continents have highest solid waste you see here we are in asia pacific european north america then latin middle east which continent has more number of solid waste asia pacific we are having the largest number of solid waste which are been highlighted here next to that you have middle east and africa so these are the two places amount of solid waste generated now this is the statistics sir in india how much solid waste market is there see after collecting all the waste from us the bbmp people they they generate electricity it will be not dumped in a place they will generate electricity out of that if you put your share in solid waste market what will be your earnings in the sense 6.18 percentage if you put a fd so what will be your benefit how much percentage they give 7 percentage average 7 to 7.5 percentage you will get there are share markets you can buy shares from this kind of solid waste it will increase from 2025 So 2024 is 12.21 billion, 1,200 crore in India. Only in India, through waste, how much they generate revenue? 1,200 crore. Don't think that it is a waste. Just they have to follow the process of solid waste management. If they follow 1,200 crore, they can earn at the end, or if the future projection, it might go to 21.86 billion. What is billion in the sense? Into 100 crore, you have to multiply. that means 2100 crore of a process this if you do this process at the end you will get the money cargi is compound annual growth rate now 
what are the functional elements i have told it is a process first thing identification and segregation these are the places or the sources of identification they have to identify they have to pick it after that they have to segregate what do you mean by segregate is they have to separate in terms of plastics separation in terms of paper non biodegradable chemical waste toxic waste glass glass items glass items can be recycled if they take all the glass bottles they can recycle it if they take paper waste they can decompose it like that they have to sorting it so this process is called segregation identification and segregation is the first process next thing is in india each and every person per day how much of waste we generate is 300 gram to 500 gram per person in india we are responsible for 0.5 kg of waste which is been dumped here see the government will take in terms of per capita who has dumped here government will say people are dumping who are people we are people 0.5 kg of waste is been dumped by us cpcb what is cpcb central pollution control board they have taken the statistics yes next thing is collection have you seen this kind of vehicle coming near your house in all the streets they will come this, this process is called collection and transportation they will come and collect a systematic way of collection all are green color what is green color waste organic waste are called green color do you think all organic matters are here do you think any glass items are not there plastics are not there yes this is the key area where the bbmp people are losing the revenue we are also losing our environment due to this process you see only green colors will be there they have to send how many autos four autos what are they one for collecting organic one for collecting plastic one for bottles and one for toxic waste what are whatever is toxic they have to collect this like that four vehicles it has to be sent and segregated next thing is monitoring sir who will monitor i have told an organization in india which organization cpcb is there don't think that they are only monitoring when they go in the place this is a satellite image of bangalore from the satellite image they have the dumping place what do you mean by dumping places they collect this waste no they collect this waste and they will go to the dumping yards what are dumping yards see this is bbmp this is a nice road can you see around here you have this nice road area where they dump is you see the yellow dots what are yellow dots are all the waste which are collected in the city and they are dumped at the particular place from the satellite image number of researchers is done this image i have taken from one research article they identified that where are the place the solid waste is been dumped so from there you can identify if any new place some illegal place might be there illegal places without government authorized they will dump at some place that is called illegal can you see this unauthorized waste dumping locations they are dumping here some demolition waste they will be dumping here as unauthorized next thing is treatment treatment is after monitoring either that waste can be made it as compost composting is what compost creating fertilizer is called compost then next thing is energy generation what are the materials can be used for energy generation organic waste all the organic waste can be done next thing is recycling and reusing then to create an energy so like that you have to do for treatment and disposal after treating it has to be disposed in a land site like this so disposal place i have shown you in the images now what gas is been released from this disposal site is methane gas is methane gas an air pollution yes you think that if more places if we are dumping in the sense nothing is happening we will think but the places where solid waste are dumped 
naturally it is under the process of decomposition during decomposition the bacteria releases methane gas it creates a pollution instead of that what you have to do you have to collect keep it in a container create methane gas and use it for industrial purpose so this is solid waste management overall process and what is the best practice hierarchy is first practice is to prevent first of all we should not generate solid waste it has to be separated and it has to be kept first one second thing is we have to reduce using non biodegradable waste should be reduced next thing is reuse glass bottles can be reused we can manufacture it can be reused recycle is plastic waste are recyclable bottles can be reused by cleaning recycle is plastics can be recycled if you take a plastic container you can make it into a syringe in another form that is called recycling recover is or you can burn see if you have agricultural waste can you burn that and make some energy production yes that is called recover last thing is disposal so what thing should not be done in solid waste disposal should not be done instead of that you should do some other thing what should be done in solid waste prevent solid waste first of all should not be generated sir without generating how we can in the sense you have to recycle recycling is a process solid waste management involves which of the following activities all of the above all the activities are there from generation to the disposal next thing the main objective of solid waste management is to why we need management if nobody is collecting the solid waste what will happen health problems will come protect public health and environment now the best method for disposal of hospital waste is incineration that means burning next one the major component of municipal solid waste in india is say i have to told you on pie chart no what type of waste we are generating maximum 41 percentage of the waste is what organic waste organic and biodegradable waste now which of the following method is recovering energy from solid waste recovering energy means electrical energy how they create electrical energy incinerating by burning you can create electrical energy no thermal power plant next thing which of the following is the final method of waste disposal land land filling next one composting converts organic waste into fertilizers next thing the average per capita municipal solid waste generation is d is 300 to 500 gram per day next thing the main greenhouse gas emitted from landfill is methane gas next one the first priority of solid waste management according to the hierarchy is c c is waste minimization or reduction